<sighs> Another day of uh, coronavirus. Uh, it's a uh, three fifteen of uh, coronavirus uh, since the March of last year's. <laughs> and it's the second last day of the gray zone. So tomorrow, Friday, is the last day of the gray zone. So after that, stay at home rules still apply. Do not forget that. Mark your calendars. Or do whatever to like, you know, that helps you reminder. Like, So today I'm going to be uh, talking about schools, so, however, I wanted to be talking about coronavirus cases first, and uh, today's cases is somewhat uh, lower than uh, yesterday uh, by, uh, I think, uh, 23, yeah, minus 23, so it's, we have 2,632 uh, coronavirus cases uh, today, or Thursday, okay. Let's see, the reporting today, so, 897 uh, cases are from, high cases are from Toronto, they're still in the high, 412 uh, from the Peel region, 245 uh, from York region, 162 from Ottawa, and uh, 118 from, uh, Waterloo region. 46 deaths have been reported today, although I think yesterday's death. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Let's talk about schools. Students, students will be going back to school. Schools only in seven of some parts. So, uh, and uh, these are certain uh, parts. Of, uh, so, uh, keep keep reminder. So, uh, Gray Bruce. Ray Bruce, uh, so the, so the, basically like, uh, Halliburton, Cohort, uh, yeah, Northumberland, Quinty West, uh, area, yeah, that, that area, that region, you're going back. Kingston, uh, Fronton, Atlantic, and Attics in their region is going back. Lennox, Leeds, Grenville, and Lanark, you're going back. So, uh, every other school uh, will uh, be. Uh, We'll be going back to school uh, on a later announced uh, date. Uh, we don't know when, but so that's like the basement. Ray Bruce, uh, Halliburton Court, uh, Northumberland, Quinty West, uh, Federal, and uh, yeah, Kingston Frontenac. Lennox and Addington, Leeds, Grenville, and Lanark areas uh, will be going back. Those students will only be going back to school on Monday. This Monday. So. So. 
school rules have uh, basically uh, changed again, like this with the schedules, though. So we don't know, like when. Uh, yeah. When uh, be will be the well, students will be going back to school, but. Uh, The Northern Ontario uh, students uh, in the uh, regions in Northern Ontario have uh, already uh, gone back to school because uh, Northern Ontario has uh, less uh, serious uh, coronavirus cases. Uh, so, uh, yeah, they got out uh, of the gray, gray zone lockdown pretty fast. And uh, keep them. And as a reminder, so I'm looking at it right now. Schools are. Uh, in uh, Toronto, Hamilton, Peel region, uh, yeah. York region and Windsor Essex region will be uh, open on February 10th. Keep that in mind. And uh, the re reminder, police will uh, continue to look for people people who are having large gatherings and issue tickets to those who do. So large gatherings are one of the major cause that contributes to coronavirus cases every day. It uh, should be avoided. So stay at home uh, regulation are in effect. Coronavirus rules and regulations uh, apply to... Uh, So you can uh, do some shopping, work, school, uh, banking, medical, and the business appointments, uh, with uh, some exceptions, because uh, some uh, places uh, take it differently. Childcare services, uh, access to governmental and social services, delivery of goods, caregiving. Although you might want to be careful, like yeah. Keep the number under five. You will be fined if you uh, don't keep don't keep it under five. Take a child that our uh, parent or guardian. How it takes they help someone who is experiencing domestic violence, unsafe conditions, or in need of emergency assistance. Exercise. Walking your dog. Okay. Okay. Walking your dog, that's one major problem with, with for people right now who who don't leash their dogs and uh, they act like a complete stuck up to like people who tell them to leash their dogs. The only place you can unleash your dog is inside a dog park, not in a uh, in, not inside a park that has a dark dog park. I've had to deal with people like then snarky people. So rude. Skating. Some some towns and cities will not allow skating. Vaughn in the uh, York region, uh, they are not allowing skating. We're gonna attend the place to the really related to the administration of the justice uh, exercise the tre section treaty thirty five uh, indigenous or treaty right that for natives only. Go to uh, airport or tran transit station for essential travel. 
outside, around, or in inside Ontario. Though so must be essential. If not, you will be named and shamed. Visiting a household of a person living alone, you can't visit someone who is living uh, with others, like with a, one, a, a, another person or uh, more than two people. You can buy and obtain uh, animal food and uh, veterinarian service and assistance. Travel and uh, for exempt purposes. Uh, and moving or making arrangements to buy or sell property or to end a buyer and a uh, beginner and a lease. However, there are the fines uh, for individuals who don't want to wear masks and, uh, or face covering in businesses, outdoor public spaces, and uh, yeah, and also uh, outdoor uh, spaces uh, where like it is really crowded and uh, you can't really do social distancing. Yeah, social distancing is not just for uh, out indoors, it's for outdoors too. So I know some people are still trying to make up excuses not to wear a mask. Because they don't want to wear a mask and they're just scoffing. I'm, yeah, I'm quoting that uh, Eminem song. So you will be fine. And do. Find and even closures for businesses that are contravening an order, though that includes running a business when they're told to close temporarily. That is for uh, businesses that are not essential businesses. Oh yeah, not coronavirus coronavirus screening staff. Yeah, you can get in trouble for that. No mask on. Breaking capacity rules. No safety rules for staff posted. And not checking if staff are following coronavirus uh, rules. Hamilton has been known for breaking these, some of these rules, and uh, yeah, they, and uh, and uh, the, the yeah, the city of Hamilton is known for naming and shaming businesses who do break these rules. Yeah, and yeah, it can be pretty embarrassing when you and when your business ends up on the news saying. saying Oh, your business, did, this business did not follow the rules because of this. They're, they're going to be closed for, mm hmm Karma. <laughs> Karma hits back. So, fines, number three, fines for gatherings exceeding more than five people who are not from the same household. So, there should be no gatherings for people in Southern Ontario due to gray zone rules until that tom tomorrow's the last day. After that, rule number three still uh, applies. No cheating. And no gatherings with their, like, your friends or anything. Because uh, if you're going to have your like, gathering with your friends just because you want to and just because you want to break the rules doing so, don't be a stuck up and, well, make sort of make it easier for people with, uh, like, who are like, having to follow these strict coronavirus rules and we hate it. They're so incompetent, people. There are fines for, uh, in effect, for uh, uh, the supplies. Uh, this, this is the second last day. For Southern Ontario, so. No social gatherings with anyone outside your household. No social gatherings over 10 inside your household. There are the limitations of some businesses, some closures, and really, and restaurants and bars only doing takeout, delivery, and drive to services. No large gatherings. Host pays that thousand dollars. Every other person who showed up pays the seven hundred fifty each. Possible fine of a hundred hundred thousand dollars in penalties and one year in jail. And corporates could pay one ten million. Yeah, if they are caught breaking the uh, no large gathering rule. Tomorrow is the last day for the gray zone. It's 
Schools will be open this Monday for Great Bruce area, Halliburton, Corthon area, Corthon area, Northumberland, Quinty, Ratstead, Peter, Peterborough area, Kingston, Frontenac, and Lannington, Addington area, Leeds, Grenville, and Lanark area, and uh, yeah, Renfrew. Toronto, Toronto, Hamilton, Peel region, York region, and Windsor, Essex region. Schools will open on February 10th next month. All, all schools uh, will, will, will uh, soon follow along and uh, it will be reported soon uh, when they will be. However, they'll still not go to uh, do uh, all of the schools will be doing online classes. Sorry, but uh, it's a risk we have to take. Take and drive through and delivery services or uh, restaurants, bars, and cafes will be available. Use DoorDash.ca if a restaurant's website is not working. For delivery, use the app or call. If you know their phone number and you know what you want. So, uh, hospital, hospitalizations. One thousand five hundred thirty-three people that have been hospitalized today. Okay, that's lower. Sixty-five lower than that yesterday. Okay, that's an improvement. Less uh, coronavirus patients and uh, taking over hospital beds. Three hundred eighty-eight patients in ICU. It's lower than seven, minus seven. Okay, that's improvement. And 293 uh, ICU patients and uh, using a ventilator. Okay, minus three. Okay, cool. That's good. slowly improving. Mm -hmm. It just needs to be keep, uh, lowering for the last few days and the next few months to come. Mm. However, the, the big problem is uh, vaccines have been like really have uh, been like uh, slowing down, and we have had some problems with uh, some uh, vaccines. Uh, eh so the rollout uh, for uh, the Pfizer BioNTech vaccine is uh, on stage one right now so they're gonna, gonna give it out to like the long-term care home uh, residents and staff and anyone who works in that air that position and uh or you know works or lives yeah uh, and february 15th uh, they're going to give it to like the people like 80 plus and then uh, people average aboriginal uh adults and uh, they're going to sort of work their way down until like you know 75 60 Plus sixty, plus sixty-five, plus plus sixty, plus fifty feet older, older people, you know, and then do it's going to be, and then by March it's going to be available to everyone. But that is sort of a delay right now, even even though it's starting today. And while Moderna Incorporated said there has been an important uh, problem with uh, one of their uh, vaccines uh, batches. Uh, 41L20A. Yeah, O, not zero. Yeah. And, uh, had, and some people in California had some uh, treatment and uh, they had some allergic reactions to that ba to batch. That batch, so yeah, they have that problem. And we have not heard from uh, if they're making more, they're uh, making a second uh, wave of batches because they first released there the December 30th, uh, 2020. And Johnson Johnson hasn't uh, made a vaccine, and there's another comp company I forgot. I'll look into it. 
but I don't know. They're probably not making a vaccine, but yeah, Johnson Johnson might. So, long term care homes, uh, 3,256 deaths have been reported. Uh, plus 17. Uh, so, 200, 251 uh, outbreaks right now. Uh, I don't think anything has changed. Yep. It's going on right now, so yeah, please. Uh, so so students are uh, going back to school on Monday. Uh, do remember, uh, and uh, on February tenth, uh, do remember keep uh, keep track of when you are going back to school. All other schools will not be going back to. We'll still continue to do online classes. So follow coronavirus safety rules. Use social media to contact others. Only go on essential travel. Stay out of uh, areas where coronaviruses can be high. And uh, follow stay at home regulations. Yeah. A lot of people have been charged and, you know, arrested for not following these rules. It's time we took this seriously. Let's try and lower the coronavirus cases more, huh? Stay safe, folks.